What we're showing here today is the S2000 series, specifically the S2070 scanner with the Passport option enabled on it. So this Passport option works with any of the S2000 series. So it could be the 2050, 60, 70, or 80. But in this case, we're just showing the S2070. So you've probably heard the federal guidelines for identification starting in 2020 are going to be smart license or passport identification only. So based on that coming around the corner pretty shortly, less than a year away, we're going to see a lot more activity with um, customers using passport scanning for identification because a lot of people aren't going to the DMV to get their smart licenses because it's too much of a pain. So what we've done is adapt this scanner to the passport accessory and to show you how it works in this case i have an application for a u.s passport here so we can just stick that in the feeder so basically now we have two feed mechanisms the auto feed mechanism and then we have the manual feed mechanism that operate together the way it works is it always looks here first and if there's nothing here then it'll look here for something to scan so I'm using Capture Pro here just to capture all of the documents so I can create a file for this particular customer with the application and with their old passport. So we'll just create a new batch. And we're going to bring the application in first because there's nothing in the flatbed. So once the application comes in, we'll see that here and then we can just slide their expired passport or a license or some other form of identification just into the flatbed itself and you see it fits perfectly for a passport and then the flatbed is scanning that passport you can see the light there and it represents it there in the exact size of a passport so it doesn't make it an eight and a half by eleven it just creates it as a passport size Yep. And then if, if there was more uh, material that they needed to add to this particular file, you could just continue to add. So if this was another piece of paper, a birth certificate or something like that, you needed to add to this file, you can easily do that just by going from feeder to flatbed to feeder to flatbed and back and forth so you gather all the information that you need. And you'll see that's there again. So we would actually, if I go to a different view, you can see that all three documents are there. And then I could even, if this was a license, you wanted to stick a license in there, you could stick a license in there and it would scan that as well. Do you have to do something or just by itself will recognize where to pick it? It'll, if, if there's a micro switch in here, so if there's nothing in this feeder, like I said, it looks for feeder number one first. If there's nothing there, it'll come down here. And then when you slide something in, it actually trips a little micro switch in here that it knows something is in there and will start the scan. And you can start with the passport or you can start with the application, either one because it's just looking for information in either case. Pretty cool, huh? That's very yeah. Like I can say with the new federal law change that we expect to get a we're going to get a lot of activity with these now having to use passport for identification.